with the release of Sword and Shield on the 15th of November, I've jumped onto my sketch pad, put together three new designs for you to represent your Team Starter, Team Skull Bunny, Rookie Gang, or Team Sobel. Hop over to the Teespring store now. You can grab a 10% discount with the discount code STARTER. Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon BGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today on the channel we're going to be finishing up with this Zendon team. Thanks to Yuki for um, doing the team report and posting this team up. It's been a lot of fun playing it this week and the team, as always, is down in the description below. There is a link over to Victory Rod uh, and the team report is over there. So you can check that out and try the team out if you'd like to. As I always say, if you do try it out, do let me know what your thoughts are on the team. But uh, we'll be rounding up with it today and it will mean the end of our Ultra Series Battle Spot series because I am going to be taking a little break on the channel before Sword and Shield comes out just to make sure I get everything put together but don't worry you're not going to miss any content because I will be doing a lot of streaming next week on the channel and in the run up to Sword and Shield so anything that I do stream Battle Spot wise I'll make sure to upload to the channel so you can get your daily dose of Pokemon content if you were if you were thinking you're going to miss it so we'll still have the Flinch Squad circuit but things won't be really kicking off uh, for a battle series uh, point of view until Sword and Shield does drop I will be doing a playthrough but I'll make sure to post the schedule of what my content's going to look like when Sword and Shield does drop so you've got a better idea make sure to follow me on Twitter or on Instagram and I'll make sure to post on both of those and I'll try and post to the community section on our face uh, a YouTube channel as well I don't use Facebook really at all so uh, that's not somewhere to look for it anyway Gengar Xerneas, Groudon, Coma or Crobat, Amoongus Today is all about the comma or we've got to make it work. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always though, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like on the video. It does really help out the channel um, and do subscribe if you're not already. Because like I say, we've got a boatload of Pokemon content lined up as soon as Sword and Shield comes out. And even before then as well. So it'll be, it'll be very exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, as always, leave your comments. We've got a 17 10 rated Japanese player for us to uh, face down today and uh, playing a QR code team. So we'll get straight into team preview. And they are playing a team of Ivelto, Groudon, Tapu Koko, Metagross, Incineroar and Mimikyu. So we've got a combination of Ivelto, Groudon, really strong restricted pairing. Um, I would say we've got the edge on our restricted combination. We've got to be careful though, the Ivelto uh, can offer Tailwind, normally carries a Z move, but it could be a Salt Vest as well. Then you've got the Tapu Koko there, uh, offers a fast defensive threat to a lot of things on our team uh, can potentially hold a z move as well gonna be mega metagross on the team the incineral and then the mimikyu that can offer trick room support and uh the stab ghost type attacks as well right hmm what are we gonna do here then mm -mm -mm. well we've got a match till and i think at least this Mm, and and I think Crobat's good because we can taunt the Mimikyu potentially shut it down from setting up a potential trick room. Um, we just got to be careful around the type of Coco, honestly. Um, we could. I don't know if I want to bring Gengar to this match. Coma or could be decent in this match, honestly. Um, but we've got to get around the Coco. Um. I mean, one thing we could potentially do is be really cheeky and go... No, because it's double fairy, so we need to be a bit more... I need to lock in. I'm going to bring Coma. Or I don't know if I've even locked it. I think we bought... Damn it! The Gengar! I think we bought the Gengar instead, but... Uh, well, that'd be alright. I mean, for a late game, it might be useful, but... I think our main kind of goal is shutting down the Trick Room mod, getting our Tailwind up, getting our Groudon onto the field and doing some work, getting rid of the potential Evelto uh, because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a problem to, to deal with. We're going to see Metagross and Tapu Koko come up for my opponent, um, but you don't mind too much. We can't really risk the speed tie with Koko because the problem is we will lose it every time because we are a slow callback. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the week, this is one of the things like I would always run max speed Crobat because at the very worst, you're going to lose a speed tie um, and 50, like half the time you're going to win it, half the time you lose it. It's never something you really want to go for, but if it's a last resort, it's kind of something to consider. 
Now, we don't really have a good switch out for it, so we can risk the Tailwind. I think I've got to go for it, to be honest, and um, I don't really want to take a Stomp and Tantrum, so I'm just going to protect Groudon here. And we'll see what my opponent goes for. I would imagine Coco goes into the Crobat. We might see a double up like a, a Bullet Punch and a Volt Switch into that slot, but... We need to kind of keep Groudon as, as healthy as possible. We are going to see Metagross go for that Mega Evolution. I think another thing on this team that it really does miss is like the Intimidate support. Um, just being able to kind of nerf posing physical threats. It does make it a lot harder when you don't have access to that tool. Okay, we're going to see an Electro Web. I don't mind this at all because um, it means Crowback can stick around for a little bit longer. We do take that speed drop, but we do get our Tailwind up, which is the most important thing now because we can start launching these eruptions off this next turn in an Iron Head. And you know what? I don't even mind that we lose Crobat here, honestly, because it means we get Xerneas onto the field right now and we can Eruption and we can Geomancy. <clears throat> and an Eruption will take down Metagross. It might not take down the Colco. It's like... The indication of having Electro Web throws up that it could be a Salt Vest, so it potentially could it could take the Eruption, but I mean the Metagross isn't in any position to take it at all, so we'll go for the Geomancy, we'll go for the Eruption, and um, we still got like two turns of solid trick Tailwind left to utilize, so I think we're in a pretty decent place at the minute. So let's see what my opponent can do, it might be a quick one for us to kick off with today, maybe. We'll see what unfolds. I don't know if my opponent will adjust. If it is a Salt Vest Coco, it could potentially go for an Electro Web here. Um, but we are going to see the Metagross Protect. That makes a lot of sense. So it doesn't go down this turn. We do get the, the Geomancy up with Xerneas. So not going to be stopped from Coco. If it potentially wasn't a Salt Vest, it had something like Taunt to potentially shut us down. That's not an option now with our Tailwind up. Uh, so Crobat really doing its, its job that we needed to in this match so far. Um, it's just about whether or not the eruption is going to be enough to get the call call. It depends on the build completely. So let's see. Moment of truth. It's gone. Okay. So I think, <laughs> yeah, this makes the matchup a lot easier for us. Um, because if the Avelto comes in now, we can dazzle Earth Power the Metagross if we suspect potentially. Um, oh, it's a Mimikyu. Okay. Well, I mean, this is quite easy for us just to go Dazzle and Eruption again. We'll definitely get the Metagross. It's just protected. It has to go for a double protect. It's unlikely that Mimikyu's got protect as well. Mimikyu's tend to not have protect in this format. Uh, we are going to see a Bullet Punch into Groudon though to try and weaken that Eruption. Unfortunately, not really going to be doing very much. Isn't very effective. We'll do a nice bit of chip to the Metagross. Break the disguise of the Mimikyu. We've got to hope that the eruption now is enough to get the, the Mimikyu knockout. Um, because if it's not, then it can potentially set up a kick in, which could be very problematic for us. And there we go, you see? There it is. And there's a trick room. Right, we've got like five days of trick room to get through. And the Groudon's going to come in now. It's definitely going to be the Groudon. Unless it's the Uvalto. But I would think that would be madness if we bought Uvalto. Yeah, there it is. There's the Groudon. <sighs> I think we can take a Precipice Blades. It's just whether or not you double in to to Groudon or not. Uh, and yeah, for sure, we could protect this first turn. Um, but then it does give my opponent room to get a Sword Stance up. And I really don't want to not punish that. So I'm going to Dazzle. And I'm going to Earth Power into the Groudon. Like I say, our Groudon should take a Precipice Blades. And Xerneas definitely will. It's just a potential Z-move from the Mimikyu. And then a Precipice Blades. That could be the problem here. But we'll see. Ooh. Pausing Groudon goes for Eruption. That's that's better, you know. I don't mind that at all. Here's the Z-move. Where is it into, though? I think we have to cut this Z-move as well. Because I'm pretty sure that this is copyright. Like it has copyright all over it. So we'll see, see an arrow to Mimikyu and we'll come back when he's snuggling up to us and kicking something's butt. But is into the Xerneas. Now you can see the Xerneas being snuggled and it does go down unfortunately. Um, 
But it's in the way. If this Earth power takes down the Groudon, things are going to be all right. Yeah, so we're we're not too bad. We've got two on one now. The Mimikyu can't attack both both of our Pokemon at once. That's Hill and Pit is out. We've got Groudon to come in. So a Sludge Bomb or an Earth Power will be enough to get the Mimikyu. Um, so we've done enough to kind of close this one up. Not as clean cut as I initially thought it might be, but um, the Mimikyu surviving there made all the difference to get that Trick Room up. But the Earth Power. Um, on our ground on enough to get rid of the opposing one and there's a forfeit so very good game to my opponent and we kick off with a win so we're continuing on with this um this little streak that we're on and hopefully we can get one more to finish off the week today um this next one can be a win and then that means i i don't know what our, our score is in total for this week but it, it makes things a little bit better doesn't it to end up with but i've got to bring coma on this next one whatever we face I need to make it my mission to get this coma all working. So, it can be X-Ray and coma ores come in. It can be Xerneas and five Tapus. Even though there's not five Tapus. We'll include Mimikyu as a Tapu for this or any other fairy type as a Tapu. Um, but yeah, it could be six fairy types and it's still coming. And we're going to try and make it work. I think Amoongus is the key to getting it getting it going though. We need that redirection support. Doesn't help against Dazzling Gleam damage though, does it really? So, but we'll try, we'll see. So we'll get into our next one. And we've got Porygon Z VGC from England up next. So we'll get straight into team preview. And they're playing a team of Groudon, Tapu Fini, Xerneas, Incineroar, Salamence and... Shininja, it looks like, um, is it uh, Red Silver's team, uh, Hepatus's team that he won the European Regional with recently, a uh, very strong zoned on team, uh, going to be difficult for us, but uh, we have said that we're going to bring Koma also, it feels like that's what we're going to be doing right now, doesn't it? Um, do we lead off with Crobat uh, or Gengar here? Hmm. Uh, we'll go Gengar. We'll go Gengar, Coma All. I've said I'm bringing it, so we're going to do it. Uh, bring Groudon and we'll bring Xerneas. Okay. That's it. We're locked in. I feel like we're handicapping ourselves a little bit by forcing ourselves to bring the Coma All. But I did say it. I did say it, so we have to do it. So I'll hold my hands up, take full responsibility. But I have a feeling that we can we can get a win with Coma All. Can we, can we do some good stuff? <laughs> Not when we see Xerneas come out first. But we don't need to keep it out on the field. There's no rules about that, okay? There's no rules about keeping it out on the field. I mean, the one thing that we could potentially do is go Clangor Soul Blaze and taunt the Zen to stop the Geomancy. We could we could definitely do that. Um, And go for that. Yeah, we'll go for the Z move. We'll go for it. We haven't been able to get it get it going yet, so we're gonna try it. Let's do it. Come on, camera. Don't do this. Not now. Not now. Not in the middle of the Z move. So we'll get the Gengar Mega Evolving it. Um, no fake out. So we get the taunt under the Zern. So it's not gonna be able to geo, which is great. Um, and here is the Z move. We get it off. Come on, come on. Yes. Yes, my boy. Big boy, comma all. We definitely have to cut this scene because it takes about half an hour. So I'll see you in like an hour. Be back in a moment. Okay, it's not doing anything to Xerneas because it's a fairy type, it's immune to the dragon type attack, but we do get a boost, we do get the Z move off. Coma all sitting in a decent spot now. Does it take a Moonblast? I doubt it does. Is this going to be the, the saddest end to a Coma all's life and hit the history of Coma all's life? No! And a U turn. Alright, well, okay. I'm a little bit sad that we lost the Coma all after just getting the Z move off. That's it. That's it done now. The Xerneas can't taunt and it is trapped in. Uh, I'm going to bring in our Groudon 
because I have a feeling my opponent's going to bring in their Groudon now. Um, and we can potentially check their Groudon with our own and get rid of his Zern once and for all. Salamence might hit the field as well, could be an option, but it is Shininja. Alright. Um, but we know the Zern is pretty slow. So an eruption here. Um, do we expect the ally switch? Probably. Are we going to call it? I don't see why not, to be honest, in this position. I think we sludge bomb into the Shininja slot and just eruption. Because the Xerneas isn't doing anything. It's causing no, like, real issue for us. Um, and I think my opponent's only play, really, is to try and get around things with an ally switch potentially here so the eruption kind of gets rid of that and if we can get a sludge bomb okay we don't see it okay that's the other play you can make but there's only slower than Groudon so the eruption is going to do a massive chunk of damage all right okay yeah I mean it's definitely in range the next turn whatever happens yeah, and especially with the Moonblast going into Gengar. Not doing enough, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Did we just protect Gengar? I think we do, and just erupt again. Break the Sash on that Shininja. Avoid any Shadow Sneak damage. It makes a lot more sense to do this, I feel. I'm going for the double protect. Okay. Oh, there's the eruption. And I think this is like one of the things with the Slar Xerneas that it has issues with, um, especially if it's like taunted or it's like if you can prevent the Geomancy, there's so many faster threats in the format that cause it like a lot of problems. <laughs> there we are, there's a little thinny coming in trying to um, get that Sork thing going. I don't even think Sork works when uh, the sun's up though, does it? Well, taunt. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to bother taunting. I'm just going to go for the sludge bomb into the finny. And I'm just going to erupt again. Because I think a sludge bomb eruption. Okay, we're going to see a shadow sneak. I think Gengar should take this. Yeah. There we go. It works! And de oh, no! No, 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 no. I don't think we can win this now. We can't win this. We've got no way to hit it. Ah, oh, is that last last game of this series going to be Shininja? Are you kidding? Oh, Groudon! Why are you not faster than Tapu Fini? It's like rule number one. An incineral. Ah, oh, stupid cat. Ah, oh, what have we got in the back? We've got no I don't think we've got anything to hit the Shininja with. I really don't. We've got nothing here. Uh yeah, we've got nothing. It's good Xerneas. We can potentially like stall things out, but I mean it's not really gonna it's not gonna happen, is it? I mean we could time a stall. <sighs> See what their timer is like. But I really don't feel like timer stalling. I might just give up because we don't, like no one wants to watch that. I tell you what I could do, uh, I will play this out, I'll try and, I will try and stall this out as best I can. Okay, we're going to see a Z-move come out from the Incineroar. Um, the problem is, like, when, when the, the Misty Terrain disappears, it's just going to be able to toxic everything, and can we switch around quick enough before it can click into its moves? If I do play it out, I'll just speed it up and come to the end of the match and I'll say that, well, this is what happened. Well, it's come down to this. We lose the Gengar, so I tell you what, I, there's nothing we can do against this, so I am literally just going to hit that four foot button, say good game to my opponent, drew gritted teeth, um, and then we're going to call it a day because I am... Um, the other thing is, I just I just can't be bothered to play out like a prolonged like the next twenty minutes. 
swapping around, switching around, and he's got Toxic as well, so there's not really any winning it. Um, that shows how good Shininja is, how, how bad it is. Anyway, guys, girls, everyone watching, thank you so much for tuning in, supporting this series. It's a bit of a sad day because this is going to be the last time that we're playing on the DS um, before we move on to the Switch. Uh, with sword and shield so as i say we're going to take a little break now with our battle series we still have content on the channel in between then and sword and shield coming out but um next time we're back with our daily battle series which will have a brand new name which i hope you'll like i'm not looking forward to um we'll be on the switch and it'll be sword and shield so uh, i just want to say thank you so much for all the support over the, the 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 entirety of this series on the ds so far since we started the channel i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you're looking forward to lots more pokemon action very soon i'm just going to say a big thank you end it up here leave it like that and take care and i'll see you all very soon so until then take care and bye bye